one of the main questions that we get asked is usually about surgery. That's my cue to bounce. And clearly that can make some people really uncomfortable. Unfortunately, the physical body becomes the focus in most conversations about trans people. The media makes it seem like all trans people either look like this person or this person. But not all trans people want or can look like that. Not every trans person wants to have surgery or take hormones. Remember the spectrum? There are more than two ways to express your gender identity. And not every trans person feels that they were born in the wrong body or wants to use those particular ways to express their gender. Let's bring in Professor Jordan to help us out. Oh! So any questions? Oh, yes you? Why do people get surgery or hormones? Something called body dysphoria, which means the unease or generalized dissatisfaction with one's body. For people who experience dysphoria, it can be debilitating, causing emotional stress and a feeling of being trapped. Generally, this comes from the outside world giving them messages about what their gender should or shouldn't be. But not all trans people feel this way. Other people say they weren't born in the wrong body, just the wrong society. Now that you've asked about surgery and hormones, you never have to ask another trans person again. In fact, please don't. People's bodies are very private and personal and none of your business. People aren't defined by their surgeries. Besides, asking a trans person if they've had surgery is like asking a cis guy if he's circumcised or a cis woman if she's had a labiaplasty. Would you do that? Now let's talk about gender expression. A lot of trans people need to experiment and figure out how they want to express their gender, and that's completely okay. It can take a while to unlearn all of the things that you've been told to do and find new things that make you feel good and authentic. There are lots of considerations that go into how someone presents themselves and a multitude of reasons why. There is a thing called passing. Some trans folks want to pass and be seen as the gender with which they identify. Other folks specifically don't care about passing, and both are valid options. But some people cannot pass. It might be too expensive to get the surgery or surgeries, hormones, wardrobe, etc. Also, passing is literally not an option when your identity is not recognized by most people. Some people want to pass so they can be read as the gender with which they identify and be treated the same way. Unfortunately, cis people love policing the system. If they can't figure out which of the two genders you fit into, they get scared and start asking questions. Passing is how some trans people avoid this. There are many reasons trans persons present the way that they do. Yes, gender is incredibly important, but so is class, race, sexuality, ability, geography, body image, cultural or social standing. The intersection of these reasons, these identities, is what we call intersectionality. <sighs> A lot of folks tend to get scared when they see a trans person in the bathroom. They are worried that that trans person is going to attack them. And statistically speaking, trans people have a higher risk of being attacked in the restroom. Cis individuals are afraid of what they don't know, whereas trans individuals are afraid of what's murdering them. But maybe, what does a trans person look like? Me. 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 Thanks for asking, Jesse. If you're a trans person and you look a certain way or do a certain thing, that's what a trans person looks like or does. Not all trans people are the same. 